From the home of the Pirates, we're at beautiful PNC Park. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go and towing the slab in this one. Mitch Keller, what do you got on him, Chris? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup move. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at-bat. Corbin Carroll at the plate now, and that's inside. And a pitch. And that is cut on and missed. And now it's even one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the ball to it. So now one and two. And another ball. Pitch misses. Three and two now. Cattell Marte on deck for Arizona. misses it's a strikeout well there's a small sigh of relief right there I mean just to keep that speed off the base pass it's not just the pitcher it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base One out, base is empty. And that's a little bit high. And now 2 0. Oh. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And that one hops the wall into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. One down, and now it's Christian Walker. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. His club is very happy he's at the plate in this moment. He loves hitting in these high leverage situations, and he seems to deliver the goods more often than not. The pitch. That's in there, and it's a ball and a strike. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Roansi Contreras loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Fleming warming up as well. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And now Jack Peterson and takes low for ball one. down go ahead run in scoring position and we're just getting started here in the top of the first next offering in there for a strike and a count one and one no, just missed
And on second, two down. In the air to left, down the line. And that is a foul ball. Next offering is down low. Gabriel Moreno waiting to hit for the D-backs. Two outs. To third. A dive. He's got it. To first. Nicely done for the out. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Back here in Pittsburgh. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? The spin rate on the curveball is incredible. Hitters know they're going to see a lot of them today. Stay back, be patient, and hit the ball the other way. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Here you go. Well, Not shortstop. Oh, yeah. Ooh. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. one. The shortstop takes the ball. Two Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be the umpire for a new baseball. That oh. one missed. They want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Brian Reynolds waits on deck for Pittsburgh. Three strike ball. one. Three ball, one strike. That one ball misses. Four. So a leadoff walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Ryan Reynolds here. There's a strike. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Field two. Yeah, One, that two. skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating base uh -huh. and a swing and a miss. One out. Well, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in, he gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then it just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Now batting key, Brian Hayes. Late swing, fouled off. Righty to the plate. That one lifted to left. Guriel sizes this one up. Makes the grab. Batting four. The designated hitter. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, it's like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. And the right hander deals. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The pitch. 
And that's in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And oh. another ball. Jack Selinski next to bat for the box. Leads off first with two down to the inning. And that one in the air center field. Carroll moving under it. Drops into the glove. And that will end the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Keller back to work. And that one fouled off. Man at second. On the ground right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, it is time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to add on. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. That pitch in for a strike. 0-1. Right-hander kicks deals and misses inside. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. One ball, two strikes. And here it comes. Fouls it off, still one, two. Pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. And that's too high. Full count. Another might be two. And he can't come up with it. And no shot to get him at first. There's two aboard. The right of the ball. Alec Thomas. Alec Thomas now. That's no, outside. outside. One and oh. Ground ball to first. Fair ball around third. He'll score. It's 2 nothing. Comes through with the EBI. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And it's Lourdes Gore. Junior. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run, and they boost their lead. It's five zip. He only needed a swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Mitch Keller departs, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this.
Carmen Majinski taking over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Geraldo Perdomo digs in now. Just missed. Right handed reliever. And that one is inside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns ball out. Four. And there's Take ball three. four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now batting, the center fielder. So the lineup flips Corbin. over. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's 0 for 1. And yeah, the yeah. pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. In the air, left field down the line. And he That's can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Perdomo on at first. Nobody out. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Ball one. one there. Two. Wouldn't two. chase that time. Oh, and God. another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The kick, the three two. And that's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Doubled his first time up. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at it. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. And now here is Christian Walker. Struck out swinging his first time. There's right. a strike. No ball. One strike. And a pitch. That's Swings good. over the top of that one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Stays alive. The 0-2. Swing and a miss struck him out. And Jack Peterson stands in. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First pitch misses. Just missed. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2 0 the count. Here it comes. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Taylor reaching back towards the wall. And he brings it in on the warning track. 
runners tagging from second and third. One run across in there safely. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the wind, just not enough. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Ryan Barucki. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gabriel Moreno singled and drove in a run his first time through. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. So far, seven runs across in the frame here at the top of the second. Bounce to the right Good side, ball. and it goes just foul. Now snap throw to first. Marte gets back easily. Two outs. Swings One, two. and misses. And that is strike two. two Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets to a first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. The final damage here, they bat around. Ten come to the plate, seven runs on the board. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks seven, and the Pirates nothing. Back here at PNC Park, and now the right fielder, Jack Sawinski. For the Pirates, the right fielder. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. And it's fouled away. It's 7 2. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Zach Gallant done for the night, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Ryan Thompson. And he's got a nice now lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Ryan Thompson. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike oh one. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame. Bottom half of inning number two. Offering misses down and away. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Joe Mantiply up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Got it by him for the K. 
You had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's Rowdy Telez. Outside low, ball one. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. Ball that two. misses. It's 2-2. Two two. Two Still two only strikes. one out here in the inning. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. And the righty deals. Swings through it for the K. And the Pirates with only one out left. Man, that slider bearing in your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. It just can eat you up, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Last chance now for the Pirates. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Michael A. Taylor. And ball one. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. And a swing and a miss. Two, one. Gets under and pops it up. Suarez moving under this one. Ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success field as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire